Hi everyone, welcome back to Guido. Today we will show you how to replace the battery on iPad Air, also known as Air 1 or iPad 5th generation. Before starting, we need to have the right tools to proceed with the repair, which you can find in the description. Proper heating is essential to separate the screen from the body for tablet repair. For this, we use a heating pad designed for tablets and mobile phones. On iPad Air, make sure to heat the front side. Select the tablet heating option and leave it till the heating completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or hair dryer. Once the heating has completed, use a suction cup on the sides to lift the front screen. In between, insert a plastic car pry tool or triangle pickers and cut the adhesive around. Be gentle while pulling, there are flex cables attached to the logic board. To lift the touch screen, take the direction like opening a book but from the left hand to the right hand side. Open and place it like an open book till removing the LCD screen. Next, we can take off the LCD screen by undoing screws. Remove 4 screws on all corners and sticky tapes are covering the screw heads, peel it and take it off. And next, we can lift the screen to 90 degrees by the top and disconnect the plug by undoing three screws and the shield. The connector plug has some sticky which holds the shield together. By using a pry tool, slowly cut the glue to detach the cable. Next, we can unplug both touchscreen connectors and the touch ID connector by moving the tape and lifting the tap. To remove the battery, we need to loosen up the logic board. Undo three screws and release the shield. Next, undo one more screw on top of the battery connector. Next, we can disconnect the front camera, headphone jack and microphone plugs and slowly raise the board using a pry tool on the top. Loosen the rear camera by disconnecting the plug and by using a pry tool gradually lift the board.
slide in a pry tool and keep it steady until we take out the battery. To lift the battery you may need some more heating on the battery side. If you are using a heat gun be cautious and apply the heat to release the battery's adhesive. Again we are using the heating pad but on the rear side where the battery locates. Now we can use a couple of pry tools to lift the battery and cut the adhesive on the bottom. Be gentle and raise the battery slowly while cutting the glue. The bottom of the connector, the sticky can be a little strong. Be careful and slowly cut the adhesive to pull the battery by using a pry tool. There is no connector plug and the battery pins are touching the logic board pins. Now place the new battery in the correct connector slot on the board. Place the battery and take out the supporting pry tool on the board. Next you can rearrange the logic board to sit accurately and plug in the rear camera, front camera, headphone jack and microphone connector plugs. Also double check the board sits perfectly in the body. Next we can add the shield by adding 3 screws and one more screw on top of the battery connector. Finally, we can start putting back things together. First, connect both touchscreen connectors and the touch ID flex. Next, plug the LCD connector and add the shield by inserting three screws. Place the LCD on the body and ensure the screen sits orderly. Next, insert 4 screws on all 4 corners by the screen. Now to clamp up the iPad Air, first ensure it has enough glue on it. If not, you can use B7000 glue or double sided pre-cut adhesive.
Take the closing book direction and place the rigidus on the body. Place the bottom section first, then follow the top, and then simultaneously fix sides and the bottom. Just make sure to put pressure on the frame sides, and verify the home button seats and clicks orderly. In here, we are using screen bonding clips to tighten the screen to the frame. If not, you can use rubber bands and leave it for some time. Hope you have enjoyed the repair guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.